guys, here are my USC 96 predictions. The fights are going to be in Columbus, Ohio. And my first prediction is Rampage Jackson versus Keith Jardine. Now, you know, Rampage is one of my favorite fighters, and so I'm just going to say off the bat, I'm picking him to win. But I do like Keith's odds in this fight. I think he has, you know, he has an unorthodox style of fighting, and I think that could frustrate Rampage. Rampage did say that in his fight against Forrest, that when Forrest was throwing the leg kicks, it kind of threw him out of his game. And Keith is known to throw really, really, really hard leg kicks. So it should be really interesting. I definitely think that Keith, I like, like I said, I like his odds. I think he could win this fight by decision. Um, but I just think that Rampage, he's going to take the fight where he wants it. And if he wants to take Keith down, he could. If he wants to keep it standing, he could. So I'm going to pick him by TKO. Next prediction is Gabriel Gonzaga versus Shane Carwin. Shane is undefeated. He, him and Cain Velasquez are kind of, you know, they're good wrestlers, solid wrestlers who, I mean, Shane's hands have been, seem to be improving and they're kind of being hyped up as the future of the heavyweight division and it's going to be a really interesting fight to see because, you know, Gonzaga, he's a really good black belt, he's really good on stand-up too, we've seen how, what his head kicks can do to the little crow cop, but, um, I don't know, it should be a really, really interesting fight. I think if Shane, you know, being a good wrestler, gets the takedown and Gonzaga's on his back, I think Gonzaga can handle himself. He's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Hopefully we can even maybe see a sweep and see Shane on his back. And it's always interesting to see what wrestlers are like on their back. But I'm going to pick Gonzaga by TKO. I think his stand-up, you know, is really good. And I think this fight will really show a lot about both fighters. We'll see if Gonzaga's really, you know top contender material and we'll see if you know Shane is as good as they're all hyping him up to be so it should be a really interesting fight but I'm picking Gonzaga by TKO. Next prediction is Pete Sell versus Matt Brown. Uh, we know Pete Sell has been knocked out before. Matt Brown has a really good chin. He likes to stay in the pocket, throw some punches. I think that if Pete Sell is smart, he's going to take this to the ground. I think his wrestling is better and I think his Jiu Jitsu game is better than Matt's. They could put on an exciting fight and keep it standing. I mean, I like it when it goes to the ground, but you know how people think if it's exciting, it's stand up. So they could keep it standing. I think Pete needs to watch out because Matt's, you know, likes to brawl. He likes, likes to, like I said, stay in the pocket, throw some punches, and he could get knocked out. So it's very dangerous. But I'm picking Pete Cell by submission, but I'm not counting Matt Brown out of this fight. Next prediction is Matt Hamill versus Mark Munoz. Now Mark's coming over from the WC. He's 5-0. and He's a good wrestler. Now that the WC has dissolved the 2 or 5 division, UFC brought Mark over and I don't really, don't really know what they're going to be doing with him because they put him against you know, a big name guy like Matt Hamill right off the bat. So Matt's not an easy fight for anyone. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go with Matt by decision. But definitely don't count Mark out. I know I've been saying that in all my predictions, don't count out the other fighter. But, you know, Mark's he's a good wrestler that can throw some punches. So definitely not counting him out, but I'm picking Matt Hamill by decision. Last prediction is Gray Maynard versus Jim Miller. Now, Jim is coming off a huge win over Matt Wyman. Basically, I, he took the fight at short notice and really dominated Wyman. And Wyman's a solid fighter. And, Jim showed a lot of skills, he impressed a lot of people, and I guess he impressed enough people to um, get a fight against Gray Maynard, and Gray's, you know, wrestling is top notch, his hands are improving. I don't think that Jim's going to control Gray the way he did Wyman, but um, I definitely give him a shot, it's kind of interesting to see if he wins. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to have to go with the safe bet and pick Gray. I think that Gray, you know, can take the fight where he wants it to, and I think he's going to win by decision. Green minute.